Good morning, it's Brother Peter, May the 31st. I want to talk to you to, uh, this morning. This is Tidbits from the Word. Uh, we come to you as a gift from the Lord Jesus Christ who has allowed us to be here. Uh, we've gone through our life stumbling, bumbling, uh, going along, uh, doing many things in our life that we could have done different. Because uh, I wouldn't change a thing. I wouldn't change one minute. Uh, I wouldn't change first. I wouldn't change one second of one minute of one hour of one day of one week of one month of one year of my past life. I wouldn't change a thing in it. You know why? Because I wouldn't be here today. I'm appointed by God to be here for this time and this day. So therefore, I must take the thinking in my mind, in my brain, in my heart, and be satisfied with the life that I've had. Have you had some misery in your life, Brother Peter? I've had enough misery for 14 people in my life in times past. And that misery was good misery. It wasn't for the time, but it was misery I needed so I could sit right here and tell you that God takes care of it. He, takes, he will do away with the misery in your life if you let Him carry it. If you've got a life of misery this morning, Turn it over to Jesus Christ and he will carry the misery for you. Will you still be in the same exact place where the misery is? Yes, you will. But the misery you do not have to carry, you can let God carry it for you. He'll carry it on his shoulders and you'll pass through it. Now, we were looking over in Peter this morning. Earlier, we've been in some other excerpts this morning that you can find it. Uh, if you look at that list in front of you there and find uh, May 31st and you can look at other ones we did this morning. Now, Christ, the living stone. I want to talk about a stone, unmovable stone this morning. The name of this one was going to be the cornerstone. Jesus Christ became the cornerstone for you and I, the stone to stand on. You might get you a rock. I, my, I left my rock this morning somewhere. Uh, I carried a rock in my pocket. And that rock is a rock that I can't throw. And my son gave me that rock two or three years ago. And he, he, he taught a Sunday school lesson on the uh, men that couldn't throw the stone. And when they brought the woman to Jesus, and they all had stone in their hand. And they condemned, they were condemning that woman because she'd been brought there in adultery. And you know what the real funny part of that was? That one of those men, or even all of them, by the way, had been with that woman. When Jesus stooped down and wrote in the sand, what do you think he wrote? I think he wrote the name. John Jones, uh, May 8th, he was with that woman. And then he wrote down uh, Tom Doolittle, uh, May 10th, he was with that woman. And then he wrote down uh, Sam, somebody, uh, on the uh, 12th, he was with that woman. I think when he wrote that in the sand, <laughs> hey, those fellas had to leave. They couldn't throw their stones. And by the way, you and I can't throw stones. If you need to get you a stone, put it in your pocket. And every time you think, Ah, 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 ah. with that tongue of yours you're going to throw a stone you better put your hand in your pocket find that stone and take it out and say I can't throw a stone here if I throw this stone here first thing you got to do is break my own window before it hits her window or his window or whoever it is do not try throwing stones when you don't have the right the only person that has a right to throw stones is Jesus Christ and you know what he won't throw them either. He will not throw a stone. He will say, what did he say to that woman? He said, woman, where are thy accusers? She looked around and she said, I don't know where they are. And he said, they can't condemn you, and I don't condemn you either. But then he said one of the most important things that Jesus said to everybody, and he said it to you and me. He said, go and sin no more. And he said to her, what you've been doing, lady, is a sin. Now, you didn't know it, but I'm telling you, it was a sin. She didn't know committing adultery was a sin. That was part of her life. That was an everyday thing with her. 
it's like somebody nowadays that, that ain't got brains enough to know that smoking cigarettes is a sin. And so they just continue to do it. So uh, you got to learn that the, your spiritual life has to come out and affect your brain so that you'll know that to do the things of the world that are bad for your body, which is the temple of God, is a sin. Well, as a lady, she didn't know it was a sin, so she was out there doing just what she did. And the, uh, her uh, freeness to go with other men was that she was just following uh, her corruptible body, corruptible seed, and Jesus made her an incorruptible seed. He said, go and sin no more. At that point, that lady had got saved. And uh, so she said, I don't know where my accusers went. He said, well, I'll tell you. Well, listen, to whom, uh, to whom coming as unto a living stone, disallowed indeed of men, but chosen of God and precious. Jesus was chosen of God and a precious stone. He was given to you and me to carry, to hold, to have to be our livelihood, to get, we can actually get in this stone and then he's the hard shell around us. We don't have to be hard. We don't have to be hard like the stone. Jesus is the stone. Let's just get in him, right along with him. It said, ye also are living stones. I built up a spiritual house, a holy priesthood, the offer of spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God by Jesus Christ. Now we've become living stones. We've said, God, forgive us our sin, come in our heart and save us all. Now we're living stones too. We come off the cornerstone now, the first stone, which was the first fruits of the Spirit, was Jesus Christ, came and died on the cross, shed his blood for you and me that you and I could become. Now, verse, by the way, we were in second, uh, 1 Peter, the second chapter, and the fourth, fifth, and the sixth verse. Wherefore also it is contained in the scripture. I'm gonna tell you this. Do you know what? When you become uh, uh, the child of God and you're in a stone, it's written down in the kingdom of heaven, and you're contained then within this book of scripture. And if you're inside of this book, this book will never pass away, the Bible said. Not one jot, that's a period, not one tittle, that's a cross of a T. And I like to think that if Jesus thinks more of a jot and a tittle here in this word, that we're gonna be more important than the jot and the tittle. And we're gonna be in this word. We're wrapped up in this word. We've got in it, we're living in it, we're doing in it, and we're written down in heaven in it. And we're in it, and it's a forever book. And we're in it. I like to, I like to, I can't do it. Can't go that rabbit this morning. I don't have time. Verse 6. Wherefore also it is uh, contained in the scripture. Behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone, elect, precious. And he that believeth on him shall not be, uh, I mean, shall not be right conformed to the world or confounded. Look, we won't be confounded by the world or not conformed to the world, but we will be in Jesus Christ. And there is, uh, we have the confidence that we are in him if we've asked him to save us. The confidence comes through the cornerstone, through this word. Let me quickly, seven. Unto you therefore which believe he is precious, but unto them which uh, be uh, disobedient. All right, the stone is disallowed by them that are disobedient. By those that have come in, the stone, by the way, is an offense and a tripping thing for those who aren't saved. But those saved, he said, even to them which stumble at the word, being disobedient, whereunto also they were appointed. And listen, if, if, if you, you're gonna die and go to hell if you stumble over this stone. The only way you're going to get in is to come through this stone, Jesus Christ. Otherwise, you're going to stumble over him. You're going to stumble right over him, and he's there, and you're going to die and go to hell. Now, he said, don't stumble over him. Get in me. Believe what I say, and get in my word. And 
Listen, folks, get in, get in, get in, get.